Hare Krishna, today we are reading from Sri Rajamandala Parikrama, Kokilavana and other pastime places. Rasauli, this village lies between Charana Pahadi and Kotwana. Krishna and the gopis famous Atanam Sharadya Rasa took place here. Kamara, once Sri Krishna was beside himself with the desire to meet with Srimati Radhika and restlessly gazed down the path along which she would appear. Finally, he called her name on his flute. Srimati Radhika and the Sakis were very attracted by that sound and they made their way to Krishna, who was overjoyed to meet them. The gopis thought to play a trick on Krishna. Without making a sound, they picked up their beloved's black blanket, Kari Kamara, and hid it. Sri Krishna then began searching for his dear blanket. The devotee poet Sri Surudas has briefly described this pastime with much rasa. In this poem, Kanhaya is complaining to Maya. Maya meri kamar chor lai, mein bhan jat charavan gaya suni dhek lai. Ek kahe kaanha teri kamar jamna jat bahi, ek kahe kaanha teri kamar surbi khai gai. Ek kahe nacho mere aage, le du ju nai, sur dasa jasmati ke aage, aasuvan dhar bahi. Maya, I went to the forest to graze the cows. They had wandered far away, so I put down my blanket and went after them. But while I was gone, some Saki quietly stole my blanket. When I returned and could not find it, I asked the Sakis, Where is my blanket? If you have taken it, then return it. One said, Kanhaya, your blanket fell in the Yamuna and is floating downstream. I saw it myself. Another Sakhi said, Kanhaya, I saw a cow eating your blanket. Maya, tell me how could a kind-hearted cow eat my blanket? Another Sakhi said, Kanhaya, if you dance in front of me, I will give you a new blanket. Maya, these Sakhis are teasing me in many ways. Saying this, Kanaya's eyes filled with tears. Maya lifted up her lala and put him to her breast. This village is called Kamara because Krishna was completely immersed in Kama or Prema here as he eagerly waited for Srimati Radhika. It is also named Kamara because Krishna called out for his black blanket or Kamara. Here one finds Gopi Kunda, Gopi Jalvihara, Hari Kunda, Mohana Kunda and the temples of Mohanaji and Durvasaji. Basosi. Basosi is situated two miles north of Sesha Sai. Here the bees become intoxicated upon smelling the beautiful fragrance of Sri Krishna's limbs and hummed all around him. The word Basa means fragrance and thus the name of this place became Basosi. Here Radha, Krishna and the Sakis became intoxicated in playful pastimes. The air was filled with the fragrance of their limbs, with the red and pink powder of the holy festival and the fragrance of sandalwood. Payagao Payagao lies six miles east of Koshi. Although the mothers of Krishna, Balarama and the Gopas would daily send lunch for them, one day their lunches arrived late. In hunger, Sri Krishna and the Sakhas went to this village and drank milk, Paya. This village has therefore become known as Payagao. North of Payagao is Paya Sarovara as well as a grove beautifully decorated with tamala and kadamba trees. Kotwana Kotwana is situated near the Delhi Mathura Highway in between Koshi and Hodal. It is four miles north and a little east of Charana Pahadi. It used to be called Kotarwana. Sitala Kunda and Surya Kunda are places to visit here. 
Krishna used to herd the cows and perform playful pastimes here. Sesha Sai. This pastime place lies one and a half miles south and somewhat east of Basoli. Shida Sagra is here as a kunda. In a temple on the west bank of Shira Sagra is a deity of Bhagavan Ananta reclining on his bed with Lakshmi massaging his lotus feet, Shayana Leela. One time when the playful Krishna was sporting here with Srimati Radhika and the Sakis, the story about Sri Ananta Shai Vishnu somehow came up in their conversation. A strong desire to see the Shayana Leela of Anantasai Vishnu arose in Srimati Radhika's heart. So Krishna himself arranged for her to see this pastime. Immersed in the mood of Anantasai, Sri Krishna laid down on a thousand petal lotus in the middle of Shira Sagara and Srimati Radhika in the mood of Lakshmi massaged his lotus feet. All the assembled gopis were astonished. Srila Raghunath Dasa Goswami alludes to this pastime in his Vraja Vilasa Stava, verse 91. Even though Srimati Radhika has extremely soft limbs, when she brought Sri Krishna's very soft and charming lotus feet near her chest, she could not bring herself to place them on it as she feared that the touch of her hard breasts might cause him pain. Maya obtained residence in the enchanting Raja of Sheshasai Krishna. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu travelled throughout Raja, he came to take darshan of this place and in doing so became filled with divine love. There is a pleasant Kadamba forest here and one can also take darshan of Pradhanata and a swing. Nearby is a sitting place, Bhaitaka, of Sri Vallabha Charya. Kami Gao or Kambahara. Kami Gao is situated on the border of Raja. To establish the boundary of Raja, Sri Vajranabha Maharaja constructed a stone pillar, Kambha, here. The village of Vanachari is nearby. These two villages are situated on the northwest border of Raja, four miles northeast of Hodal. Here are temples of Lakshmi Narayana and Mahadeva. Kairo or Karero. This place lies four miles south and a little east of Shesa Shai. When Baladeva came here from Dwaraka Puri, he asked the Sakhas for good news of Kaira. This place is also a pasturing ground for the cows. Banachauli. This village lies two and a half miles east of Karero and four miles northwest of Payagao. Krishna performed Rasa Leela here. Ujjani. This place is situated four miles northeast of Payagao and is near the main road between Chata and Shergar. The word Ujjani means opposite flow. The Yamuna started flowing upstream here upon hearing the very sweet sound of Sri Krishna's flute. This is seen even today. Thank you. Hare Krishna.